if you want to be able to get every single elemental weapon from every blood moon then have I got the place for you now you want to come over to this place down here it's in near central Hyrule field you can go straight from the plateau if you feel um, right next to it so now you want to be careful when you come here you can get every there's um, three layers of this Colosseum and there's three enemies that have each weapon so you can sneak past the one big threat of the place which is that Lionel right there you most likely don't want to fight him because he will kick your ass so you just climb up here alright so that's <laughs> that's the hard part done <laughs> just climbing up there now you can either skip this place but this is where you get your fire weapon so I'm, for the video's sake I'm gonna kill these guys I don't know how to dodge great swords very well. He has quite the swing on that. I think he can get double hits by doing that charge. Alright, don't want this. Let's pick the flame great sword up. So, 34 damage, pretty good. Let's go take out the next guy. Watch out for the Lionel. He's, I think he's trying to spot me. So just be careful when you're fighting the flame guys. Once you get up to the higher areas, it's a lot more safe. I should have snuck up on him. rather have the short sword 24 damage not the greatest but you get that little flame buff so it's probably worth it and there's the flame spear guy over there it's pretty self-explanatory so just be careful don't get spotted I think you're pretty safe because you don't want him shooting arrows at you that is the worst thing that can happen Again, if you don't want flame weapons, you can completely skip these guys, so... Personally, I think flame weapons are the least most effective. They are the strongest in terms of damage, but in terms of the elemental effect, I think they're the least effective. Alright, so this guy. I know how to dodge short swords quite easily. There it is, 20 damage, but you get that freezing effect, which is great. So, I'd rather have the ice one than the fire one. Let's continue on. Now, this is what's great about the ice weapons. Not that. <laughs> He's jumping around too much, I'm not happy. Alright, so just do this, quickly switch to a weapon, smack them. This is a really powerful sword, so... 20 damage, that's really good for a spear. Um, just, as you can see, how hard, how fast they can hit, so... And then this is where you get the great sword, so... Spin to win. Let's just, I just want to show you the damage for the greatsword. 30 damage, not bad. I'd rather have my thunder sword. And up here is where you get the lightning weapons, which are my favorite because they look awesome. 
so I like to get that freeze effect off and then hit him. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> no, it's alright. I can go collect it and you can um, fast travel away once you collect it so you don't have to deal with the Lionel. And there's your great sword. It really does help when dealing with enemies. Alright, just because I would like to replace it. I think I picked up the same one. There you go. 32 damage. And even if you're like at a lower part of the game, it shouldn't be hard because as you collect these elemental weapons, it makes the fights much easier. So as you go up. Don't do it like that. Now this is a really powerful sword I have here, so, or club. I think he dropped it. But anyway, that's how you get your elemental weapons every single blood moon. It went all the way over there. No, that's my sword. And I want to go collect that sword. But anyway, great way to get your weapons. I'm going to leave it at that. Subscribe if you want more Nintendo and other gaming content, and I'll see you next time.